What up? It's Diego, and welcome back to Diego Gaming. Today we're playing Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PS2. A classic. If I could fix my headphones real quick. Hold on. Here we go. But, uh, but yeah. Um, I was playing earlier. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this game. Because I never got to, I never beat this game back when I had it for the PS2. And, now uh, I actually found some cheat codes for it. Where you can just press L1, you know, X up and down, like the old days. So, right now, I got the all weapons cheat codes. But, uh, we'll do a couple missions. But, uh, yeah, man, this game is fun. I remember back in the day, I couldn't stop playing this game. I played it for hours and hours and hours. Man, I couldn't, I couldn't stop playing this game. Those were the days, though. Man, this game kept me out of trouble when I was younger. Man, this game was fun. Are you I never. Well, I beat GTA 5 and uh, GTA 4. I actually beat GTA 5 this year. I, uh, I actually beat it with cheat codes. There's this program called Save Wizard, where it has a whole bunch of cheat codes for the PS4 for different games. You have to buy it though; it's like sixty dollars. I remember the PlayStation 2 had a uh, Game Sharks. Man, I love those Game Sharks. You had to buy magazines, and then you'll get them back in the day. Man, this this game brings back old memories. I'm probably gonna be playing uh, PlayStation 2 games. In the next couple weeks, but the PlayStation 2 was the best console, the best console ever. I don't care what you say, it had a whole bunch of good games, and it lasted pretty bit too. It lasted quite a while before the PS3 came out. I remember. I actually, uh, I'm playing this on the PS3. But I got the PS3 that's backwards compatible. I believe it's the 64 gigabytes. And it plays PS1 games and, and, uh, and PS2 games and PS3s. Uh, it's like the, the first version of the PS3. After that, they stopped making them for some reason. I don't know why they stopped making them. Uh, but I ended up, I actually, I got lucky. I bought it from somebody for like... I think it was 40 or 50 bucks. She, it was from a lady. She didn't know what she had. And I knew that the PS3 that's backwards compatible had four uh, USB ports on the front. So uh, that lady wanted like 50 bucks for the PS3, but she didn't know, you know it was backwards compatible. And uh, I, mean, I bought it for a good deal. The only thing that was wrong with it that was kind of weird to me, the Wi-Fi didn't work. I don't know why. But if you connect through the Ethernet cable, it works. But the Wi-Fi on the PS3 that I have, it don't work, which is weird. I don't know why or it don't seem to work. But uh, well, other than that, I had it for years, and it works fine. The only thing about it, it was like overheating because I had it in like a, like a tight spot. Because um, last year I was playing Metal Gear Solid 4 and it was shut off. But now it's in a wide open area, so I've been playing it for an hour and it hasn't shut off. So it's pretty old, but it still it still works fine. Those PS3s backwards compatible, they're rare. So I need to keep in mind. That's why I'm playing GTA 3 on the PS3, but it's for the PS2, it's the PS2 disc. What the hell? What's all this, uh, what do I have to do? I didn't even pay attention. I'm over here talking. Oh, I think I have to, oh, I have to pick up the girls, shit. Oh, there's a cop right there. I gotta get a car, damn. Cops are hot right now. I 
hate this time limit stuff. Cop right there. <laughs> that commercial. Where's that girl? Ah, she must be up here. Bridge. Here you go, go, go. Shut the heck up. Here you go, Pogo. Shut the fuck up. I think I can, I keep, I think I can pick up uh, three girls. Here you go, Pogo. Have a nice watch. Oh shit, there was a girl right there. Go back. Why you jump off, bro? Move out the way. Shit. <laughs> okay, now what? I gotta take him to that pink little I guess. I should have kept my PS2 for me. That's in the red light district. If jazz is your bag, there's an all night jazz feast at Luigi's Park, and that's also in the red light district. Rips. Oh, here we go. Man, don't make me go pick up all of the girls, please. Damn. I guess. Move out the way. Man, my butt hurts. I'm playing for an hour. I'm starting to get the hang of it though. Like the controllers. I'm used to the PS4 controllers. So, I'm trying to get the hang of it. Trying to get the hang of better driving, whatnot. Oh, I think over here is closer. We go this way. Yeah, this is closer. Move out the way. Not this is far. This is gonna blow up. Oh. Yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'm starting to get uh, comfortable with the controls. How much? Oh, I got 30 seconds. Shoot. Damn. The roads here are so narrow. Ridiculous. Can I go this way? Damn it. Can I cut through here? the time. Get the time. Uh. Let me pass it, please. Please let me pass it. I think I did pass it though. Yeah, I'm being productive in this game. So far, so good. I'm gonna try to finish this game. I'm gonna try to finish this game. I miss playing this game, man. I'm gonna take it back to 2002 with this. <sighs> Let me go ahead and do one more mission because my ass is hurting. I've been playing here for two hours already. I'm gonna do one more mission. I'm 
Stop it. My ass is hurting. I'm about to get like a pillow or something. I do have a gaming chair, but I don't feel like taking that out of my room. Try to do one more mission for this guy. Remember, Lips 106 is the home. I guess I gotta get out the car. But yeah, I have all the weapons cheap. See? Got all the weapons cheap. Which helps. Hey, I'm bored. When are you gonna drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business. When are you gonna to drill me? <laughs> I got a little <laughs> job crazy. for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be in forever. I got you, bro. Got you. As Diablo Turf. I got you, man. Let me, get, let me get on this truck, though. Break yourself. Break yourself, fool. See, I'm. I got the habit of uh, pressing L. Uh, I mean R2 to drive because I'm GTA 5. You press R2 to drive. So I got the habit of doing it on here. And on here is X, not R2. But yeah, this game is fun. And I was thinking about like, man, what game should I stream? Uh, I didn't know what game I was going to stream. I was like, man, let me go ahead and stream uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. I'm probably going to buy more PS2 games next upcoming weeks and uh, stream them. Uh, probably next week I'll stream Max Payne. Man, that game is freaking tight. I finished that game. The intro is crazy. Okay, I gotta be careful with this car. This is the mission where I can't damage the car or I have to repair it. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just oh, to make your get out the way. Okay, now this is a radio. Here we go. Oh, eight bucks. This one. I gotta be careful with this. Uh, okay. Anyway, Swang. 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 All right, I gotta be careful not to wreck this car. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! In the wrong lane. Man, dude. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together. It's rad. But anyway, dude, at the yeah, International yeah. Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky. Me, Barry the Thumb. String puppets, club puppets. I remember puppets. this mission. Dude, it's gonna rock. Mom, oh, okay, thanks. Me. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has, and they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. In the garage. This is the garage. You live in the boring suburbs, but dream of Why's living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor. Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for Those a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Oh yeah. You eat That's microwave inside. dinners. All the while oh, wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your yeah, next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City. This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our best arm. traveling mince. Oh, okay. I gotta arm it. Oh, I remember this mission. I think I gotta blow up somebody up. He drives in the car and I gotta blow it up. Yeah. But how do I arm it? Shoot. Yum, yum. By genuine reproduction, medieval artifacts, including maces, double handed battle swords, and one size to all here. chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mystery. God dang it. German named I can't damage it though. Or else I gotta Every take it back to the at shop. Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox. The show Chatterbox. Number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. Let me change the what radio about station. Them? Close. What are you talking about? What was that? Rapping. Uh, 
station. Here we go. Jam. Okay, there's the thing to die. We're gonna have to go. Here we go. Put the car in the back. What? Oh, what the hell? Oh, man. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I'm going to stop it right there. I will be uh, continuing more gameplay of this. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Oh, shit.